Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator and I am doing a series called Audiobook Paths, or uh, actually Self-Improvement Paths. Audiobooks are just my particular focus. Uh, basically what I like to do is I like to start each week with a mantra or a practice um, that I'm going to implement throughout the rest of the seven days. And this helps keep my moving forward in my work and in my life, uh, makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. I'm going to be referencing audiobooks uh, in terms of what I'm doing and also um, my audiobook teaching. However, if you have a process that you think should be uh, more fun and a little easier, try taking this principle and applying it. See what you think. Show me your results in the comments. So. This, this week's path is, what does it take to get there? In other words, what is the behavior of somebody who really is determined to make X, Y, Z happen? What would I be willing to give up or, or let go of my perfectionism about? And what discomfort would I be willing to take on if I truly was determined to make XYZ happen. Now, this doesn't have to be a huge deal, um, but in terms of time management and priorities, it's so helpful, I'm finding. So, a uh, quick example. I, uh, today, had a project that I'm trying to calculate uh, the number of hours between myself and my co-narrator, so that uh, when the uh, closing fee for our book comes due, I've got that already. However, I also uh, am at a deadline of the retail sample and the opening and closing credits being due for the book. Now, my temptation, because I was most anxious about the, um, uh, the, the stuff, the business stuff, my temptation was to focus on that and then, yeah, 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 I'll fit, I'll fit the, uh, the retail sample and the closing credits uh, later. Well... It is a deadline that I'm up against with the retail sample and the closing credits. What is the behavior of somebody who recognizes and honors this deadline? Okay, so I uploaded the opening and closing credits. I uploaded the retail sample, pressed I'm done with the project. Ah, <sighs> okay, so prioritization. Now, uh, let's say that you're a student of audiobooks and you've said, yes, I, I uh, trust the process. I trust that it's not going to be perfect. I trust that it's all about logging hours and logging miles in terms of uh, my output, my practice, the number of auditions that I do, all that sort of thing. But you get tempted, tempted, tempted to become perfectionist, or maybe even excellentist, or maybe even good enoughist, which are common disguises for perfectionism, when it comes to what you're loading up uh, as your auditions, when it comes to turning in your assignments to me, when it comes to narrating your first book. Well, it may be time to ask yourself, what would the behavior be of somebody who truly trusts the process and truly trusts the numbers game of getting work under my belt? Would you be willing to probably let go of the perfectionism? Would you be willing to have clarity over certainty in terms of what's really wrong with uh, the production, if there's anything wrong with the production? Could you put your concerns aside and get it done, get it done, get it done? with the support of your teacher. Um, so that is uh, what I'm going to be doing this week. What does it take? What does it take? What does it take? I'll get back to you with my results and you get back to me with yours. Thank you for joining me. And as your narrator and teacher, I hope our paths cross again real soon.